Autism is not a handicap or a disability. September 25, 2013 Autism is not a handicap or a disability. It is a sign of the awakening of very powerful intellectual abilities, and it is a gift that needs intense stimuli and encouragement. When that awakening starts, the physical abilities the child has already developed get sidelined as the brain moves into extreme overdrive, an intense fascination with what is going on inside itself captures the child's attention. The basic skills that the child was building are no longer interesting. They are boring and they get ditched as the infinitely creative inner world expands exponentially for the child. The child is not shutting down but growing intellectually at an incredible pace that allows no time for basic motor and social skills to continue normal development. If this is realized and the child is enthusiastically allowed to freely develop this inner world, then she or he will pick up the basics later, and possibly rather slowly because the inner world is so much more interesting and exciting than the humdrum activities that most small children are engaged in. Remember. The world you experience is illusory, and reality lies within. As the child becomes aware, as she or he will, that certain basic skills, reading, writing, talking, and socializing, are necessary for communication with the world outside themselves, they will focus enough attention there to enable them to pick these up quite quickly because they want to communicate with others about the things within that they find so fascinating. The vast inner world that an autistic child is discovering is a world of connections without limit. It is the collective mind to which every human has access and which everyone influences constantly. It is just that most are unaware of their connection to it and of the influence that they have on it and that it has on them. Humanity has been evolving over the eons, as is generally understood and accepted, but that evolution is generally thought of as something that happens unconsciously, by chance as circumstances change and new skills become necessary for survival. And evolution will continue to occur unconsciously over the eons as it has been doing, indefinitely, if you choose to remain unaware, but each one of you has the ability to evolve consciously, and autistic children are showing the way. You were created in love, free to experience constant joy, and, as most of you realize, when you are enjoy everything flows far more freely and easily. Over the eons during which your various cultures have developed they have established codes of behavior and beliefs about those behaviors, leading to rules and limitations to which people are expected to conform, thus limiting or stifling the freedom and joy that were meant to encourage and expand your amazing creative abilities. As you can see all over the world, these unhelpful and sometimes very damaging limitations are being discarded because the collective has made the choice to be free once more. For those who have grown up unquestioningly accepting the limits, restrictions, and laws that your cultures, religions, societies, and various other organizations have imposed, this is very unsettling, threatening, and even terrifying. It is another reason why you need to go daily to your quiet inner space and ask for help to release all the limiting beliefs and attitudes that no longer serve you or humanity generally. It is in releasing those shoulds and musts, or shouldn'ts and mustn'ts that you start to allow yourselves the freedom to be yourselves instead of attempting to be some sort of cardboard cutout figure that it seems society expects you to be. You are, each and every one of you, unique beings with your own individual creative talents that you have every right to own and develop. Trying to fit into a mold set by others for you is detrimental to your health and well-being. Your human potential is limitless, and this is becoming apparent as new mental and physical skills continue to be uncovered, developed, practiced, and demonstrated daily. You are beings of love, beings of pure energy that is completely boundless, who chose to experience limitation and restriction. Well. The time for those experiences has finished, and many among you have now discarded those attitudes and that sense of limitation in favor of allowing yourselves to use and enjoy the unique potential that is embodied within you. Seeing others allow their potential to flourish allows and encourages those who felt that they were not quite ready to start doing likewise. The new age that has established itself firmly and powerfully on Earth is like an enhanced atmosphere that has intensified the vitality of the energy field in which you are enveloped, drawing you out and encouraging you to look with new eyes at the world around you, 
so that you can see the marvelous creative possibilities that were always present but unseen, and which can bring you untold happiness just by playing with them. You have examples of this as young people everywhere expand their horizons and express new ideas that benefit everyone. Autism is a wake-up call, a call to awareness to any who would diagnose those who do not conform or develop in the prescribed or expected manner as ill, damaged, or in need of treatment. Every human is unique and has unique needs and talents that must be honored. It does not honor anyone to impose ill-considered restrictions upon them or to decide for them what their path of growth should be. Adults need to respond positively to the wants and interests of the young ones in their care by providing a safe and loving environment in which they can grow in the direction that their talent suggests to them, and which will bring them joy. Joy is your right. When you are experiencing joy you are on your path. When you are bored, dull, or depressed then you have taken an inappropriate direction and may need to retrace your steps to the point at which joy weakened or ceased and then take the necessary steps to rekindle it. Frequently, it is quite easy to see what changes you need to make. It is just that it often seems that you shouldn't. Question that restriction, and if it appears invalid for you, then discard it, and reclaim your freedom and the joy that goes with it. Joy will lead you home to reality and to all that that has to offer. Your loving brother, Jesus. Channeled by John Smallman. John Smallman2.wordpress.com